trap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard, and I'll talk him into it. A little drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine, I promise you. Didn't go well. I had to kill him. Maybe we won't try for a pirate next time. There'll be plenty more people we can recruit in the future. The gods will provide us with the opportunities we need. Of that, I am sure. We should set a course for Megaris. The Athenians have blocked the entrance to the bay! The Athenian dog Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. You can't be his son. I heard his children died in Sparta many years ago. He adopted me into his household after his previous family failed him. I would never bring dishonor to him. Sometimes things happen in a way that you don't plan or expect. History has a way of remembering things strangely. You talk as if you were there. Maybe I was. Nonsense. You're too young to have witnessed such things. But enough of the past. Let's discuss the future. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. I've come to meet the wolf of Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot simply meet with Nikolaos. He has command of the entire Spartan army. If you truly came all this way to meet him, you might be disappointed. 
Are you sure you're in charge here? You don't strike me as a typical Spartan. Perhaps it's best if I just talk with Nikolaus. A sense of humor is not a trait I see being useful for a Selsor. If you're here to earn Drachmi, though, I could make use of a capable mercenary. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. Your father... who is he, exactly? Nikolaos, the Wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy, and took me under his wing. He trained me himself, and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior, and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the Underworld. How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the Wolf's command, we shall be victorious. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I'll help you rid Megaris of Athenians for a price. Typical of your type. No honor or sense of duty. But your skills are better serving us than our enemy. The Athenians already have a mercenary working for them. They don't need more help. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. What supplies should I destroy? Anything the Athenians need. Look for crates of supplies and weapons. The port of Nicaea in the valley of King Lelech would be a good place to start. It's where their supplies come into the region. This chest you want me to steal. Why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Drachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nikolaos. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mystios. Do this, and the Wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. Leader is dead. I should return to Stentor. I hear good things from my commander's mercenary. What news do you have? The Athenian commander is dead. Megaris is ready to fall. Good. The wolf has ordered the attack. I'm glad you're here to join us in our march to glory. I'm proud to fight by your side. Yes. You have earned your place. We will win the day for Sparta and the Wolf. Come, we must reach the forward camp. I am ready. Follow me. 
We must prepare for the battle ahead. So, tell me about the wolf. He is a great man. He will lead Sparta to victory against the... No, no. What is he like as a man? As a father? He, uh, he used to be admired. Strong. Care in his way, but sometimes I... Yes? Nothing. Just... He gets this faraway look in his eyes. And I sense a sadness there. He is Sparta's general. But he is also made of flesh and blood. Life cannot be lived without some regrets. This won't be like any other battle I've been a part of. Are you ready to crush the Athenians? I'm ready for war. The wolf requests the presence of the mercenary. We shall be up to him in a moment. With respect, he wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said the commander I wishes... I heard what you said. I just don't understand why. Those were his orders, sir. Very well. It appears I have other matters to attend to. The wolf awaits you. You fought well today. For a mercenary. Don't keep the wolf waiting. This is it. What do I even say? Greet you as a true warrior. Here, Pater. It's been a long time. Impossible. I saw you fall. I didn't fall. You fucking threw me to my death. I did what was required of me as a Spartan. I've made my peace with that. You need to as well. You were my father. You were supposed to protect me! You were reckless! You forced my hand! I was protecting my brother because you wouldn't! The Oracle decreed that Alexios had to die. Her word is absolute. You know that. You can't cower behind your sense of duty anymore! Enough! I can't change the past, son. I will live and die a Spartan. There is a large reward for the mercenary that can collect the wolf's head. Is that why you're here? You've avoided the past long enough! Now you will answer to me! You deserve death. There is no honor in vengeance. 
You must face the ghosts of your past, Pater. And that is a fate worse than death. I have failed in my duty. I failed to protect you. To protect both of you. I loved you and your brother as if you were truly my own. But you were never mine. What do you mean? That is a question you should ask your mother. Wait. Find your mother. Find her? Wherever Melina is, she knows far more than I do. Where will you go? To find my honor. Beware the snakes in the grass, Cassandra. I need to get out of here. I should head back to Varnavas. So, did you kill your father? Step, father. I suppose the gods won't judge you too harshly for a step patricide. Nikolaos raised me, trained me. He was my father, even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. Thanks. I'm glad to have you around, Varnavas. I'm happy to be here. Would anything else help? Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nikolaos thought so. Some good news, praise Ira. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? For now, we go to Fakis. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money and an explanation. Aye, Cassandra. And let's seek the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. The Oracle's predictions destroyed my family. The Pythia has the wisdom of Apollo himself. Now, I'll admit, if people choose to ignore her, they might court disaster. If we'd ignored the Pythia, my brother would still be alive, and our mother would be safe at home. Hmm. Back to business. You know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose? His home is in Pilgrim's Landing, but... Klaus's last words to me were a warning of snakes in the grass. Sounds like you should make extra preparations. El Pinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. El Pinor has a lot of explaining to do. Ah, Mistyos. How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Cassandra. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? How did you know Nikolaus was my stepfather? I love theater. All of the arts, really. A great general throws his own children off a cliff on the say-so of the Oracle. It is a tragedy for the ages. You think my life is entertainment? Oh, no, my friend. It is art. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Tell me, Mistyos, did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with the wolf? I'm done talking! I should kill you where you stand! Temper, temper. Ah, and they said you'd be different. 
But blood is blood, I suppose. They? What blood? You really are more brawn than brains, aren't you? A shame. I could have used you for more of my errands. Malaka! You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue! So disappointing. Pinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. Pinor's selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compared to Elpinor. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. Nikolaus warned me of snakes in the grass, but I wasn't expecting this. Hey! <laughs> 
smell death is coming for you, Elpinor. What a shame. We would have made you rich before we killed you. Trusting you on Kefalonia was a mistake. I am the reason you left that island alive. The cult wanted you dead. What cult? Where are they? I found on Elpinor is like nothing I've ever seen. Might come in handy. Cassandra, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinor? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. Uh, I may have mentioned you. you're showing a bit more secrecy. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. Hmm. That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said... Spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand the word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, 
but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this. Of course he does. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is she not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker. I'm looking for my father. My true father. Who is he? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. I saw you feign ignorance in Kausos. You let an unknown sickness govern your decision. Innocents died thanks to you. But... How? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain, the cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Irodotos, uh, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was, what I'd done. She tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. Now the Pythia seemed afraid of them. The guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. 
You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the Temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives, and I will get answers. Cassandra, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. The Oracle is hiding inside. I'll finally get some answers. That's a lot of protection for the Pythia. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! I'm looking for my family. And everywhere I go, people are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. Help me, and no harm will come to you, I promise. All right. But ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. What is this cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddles. I want names. I don't know. I swear. They hide behind masks and shrouds. Why would you work for the cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods, all those people, you're paid to deceive them all? Most want to know about love or death. I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the Temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived a terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. 
Beneath the Temple of Apollo, there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure, but if he is, he would definitely have what you require. I sent Elpinor to the underworld. I knew the mask I stripped from his corpse would come in handy. May Apollo protect you. So much for using finesse. I should tell Herodotus what Epithea told me about the cult. Maybe he'll have some insight. Well? What did the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me. But I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I've killed the first cultist, Elpinor. A snake I met in Kefalonia. His mask and cloak will get me inside the chamber. So they're underneath the Temple of Apollo? Yes, by the Cave of Yea. I think I know the place. Find it, and I'll meet you there. So, this is it. Hidden chamber of the cultists. Here, all along. I'm going inside. Keep my clothes for me? Best not to go in with your weapons, either. I don't think they'll look too kindly on that. How do I look? Terrifying. Good. Find me once you've found out the truth in there. Keep your wits about you. Try not to do anything rash. Me? Rash? These ridiculous costumes were a good idea. You're late! Very late! It's a good thing Demos hasn't arrived yet. Sorry, it's my... first time. A new recruit? <gasps> welcome, welcome! There's a lot of people here. All share our common mind. Good. We're here to evaluate the strides taken by the cult since the last meeting. We haven't met for some, some time. Where did they come from? The land and across the seas, we assemble as a community. Here, there is no war. There are no sides. You mentioned someone. Vimos. Who is that? You'll learn his name very, very quickly. He's our leader. I'm sure he believes that, but no. He's our weapon. He's difficult, but he does important work for us. I don't envy his position one bit. I'll go talk to the others. Thank you. Yes, yes, before Demos comes. Who knows if you'll get a word in after that. All right, then. Highest bidder gets an Olympia. You're not no. listening. Forget them. I'm still not convinced. You. We need another opinion on this. Why split resources searching for a woman we can't find? If we narrow our focus, Athens will be ours. 
Immediate threats have to be destroyed. Pericles has to be destroyed. Not without the mother. We aren't strong enough without the mother. Don't let Demos hear that. If anything, we should be hunting the father. <sighs> we know who the mother is. Looking for the father would be a waste of resources. What do you think? Hunt the champion's mother or his father? The father. What did I tell you? You're both wrong. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need much more information to identify who these cultists are. We need to look for the father. It's only blood right now, but who knows? Vemos may ask for our hands next. Go on, go on! Make your offering! We just have to keep our sights on what the bloodline will do for us. The bloodline? The mother, the father, the sister, you know, his kin. We need them. All of them. To use them. That information is not for Vimos, of course. You know how volatile he is. He could rip through us easily. I'll be sure to keep it to myself. As you should. Nor can he know we're about to capture his mother. <laughs> Do what with her? I would lower my voice if I were you. Just know she will be put to good use, unless she's uncontrollable. You know where she is? No, but it won't be long until we do, I assure you. She's the cult's next target. Tell me about Demos. He's shown us what we need to know. He's a machine, a weapon for the cult. Someone that unstable can't be trusted with such personal information. I have to go. To our great ambition. To ambition. Pull yourself together, Malaka. You're a fucking pig before slaughter. I'll do it, I swear. I'll kill him. Let me go. You like to watch, you sick fuck? You're not just going to watch, you're going to teach this little insolent shit a lesson! Does he deserve it? Does it fucking matter, does it? What I say goes, no questions asked! I... I couldn't do it! But I'm not scared, not anymore! If you can't kill a fucking Archon, what are you gonna do when I tell you to kill a fucking Archon? I will, I will! I'll kill Fidias! I... Show him what happens to cowards. They get fucking burned! No. He's yours. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck fun is. <laughs> More for me! <laughs> fuck with me and there's plenty more where that came from! the cult. Gods, they have a foothold in every part of the Greek world. We're in more danger than I thought. It's strange. I feel something. Towards the pyramid. It's covered in shards like Alpinos.
why you had the last piece. Now it is ready. Every time I see it, it calls to me and sings of power. Does it call to you like it calls to me? It does. It's impressive. Yes. Show your reverence. What we have now is everything. Ira has blessed me. My great warrior is leading our army to victory. Can you imagine the pride I feel? Our champion will destroy our enemies before they even think to kneel. Mark my words. Elpinor is dead. One of you is a traitor. The artifact will expose them. Everyone will be tested. You... first. Oh. You're alive. They know me. My family. They want my mother dead. I see. It's worse than I thought. There's more. 
They have a weapon. What kind? A soldier. Stronger and more ferocious than any I've ever seen. Hirodotus. It's my brother. We need to get to Athens. Athens? We need to find my mother. My clothes. Spear. Uh, uh, of course. My spear! The cult of Cosmos called my brother Demos. He used an artifact to see my memories. Cassandra, the man I serve, we must tell him what's happened before it's too late. You've heard the name Pericles before. Pericles is the king of the free people of Athens. King? Athens has no king. Pericles serves the people, not the other way around. Serves the people? You're right. He's not much of a king. Save your doubts. He is working to end this war. We all are. If there are forces colluding against him, he must be warned. We have to go. To Athens? They're hunting my family, my mother. I have to find her. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Act like it. If Pericles doesn't put an end to this war, we're all as good as dead. Including your mother. Fuck your war! The cultists are exterminating my family! You have a duty to the Greek world. We both do. Pericles must be warned. She is my mother. What would you have me do? If there is one place where we can find information about your mother, it is in Athens. How? Pericles surrounds himself with the brightest minds in Athens. Which is to say anywhere. In Athens, you can fulfill your duty to your family. Hmm. But before we can go, I need you to meet me at the Lion of Leonidas, at Thermobile. Leonidas? Why? There's something I need to know. Something that may help us take down this cult, and save your mother. You've proven I can trust you, but let's make it quick, Hirodotos. First, Thermopylae. Then we go to Athens. They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. This is where Leonidas was laid to rest. I wish I had known him. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Herodotus? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something.
I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its kin to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well, but treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convince myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone. Like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned a people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Traveling with us? Only for a short trip. 
I have business to attend to in Athens. Herodotus is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Herodotus on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension. And all we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Herodotus and I share an too. Like in Vinor? He is... was part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. And I believe they will hurt others who oppose their views along the way. By Hermes! The Oracle lost to corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who needs them? I don't know for sure, but I think it might be my brother. Your brother? Why, Zeus, your life is complicated. Tell me about it. But don't you worry. This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies. And one of them fights like Athena and sits under like Zeus. We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them. Is he always this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, carry us to Athens. First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then. We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old, and perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! Now that we have the necessary resources, we can upgrade the ship's wall. an army brought it back from the Battle of Thermopylae. Why bring it back to Rome? Leonidas was her father. Incredible! And it gives you visions. Perhaps it's trying to guide you. Show you a path. There's more. It helps me in battle. What do you mean? I can't really describe it. It's like I know what my opponent's next move will be just before it happens. Fascinating! This is just extraordinary. Rowers! To your oars! Yes! Here we can see the tomb of the greatest Myrmidon, Achilles. I was more excited by the fact that Andros exports some of the most expensive marble in the world. Is this the place with the rumored ancient civilization ruins you were talking about? It is. Look for a large gate. Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know, Mater. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong, but you're not taking action. I was going to. I know, but it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Leonidas' spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. Something. Huh? The spear. It has magic. It carries with it a long line of power. A bloodline of incredible heroes. The same blood within you and me and our family. All of us? Think of Leonidas. 
He had great courage. And he made a great sacrifice. You share in his blood and the strength he possessed. We are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storm is coming in. Then maybe we should move forward now. <laughs> Mother, I haven't forgotten you. to someone like Marcos. Something's glowing over there. Demos. The Forge. I knew I let you stay in the Animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Cassandra didn't just have Isu technology. She had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Cassandra. If you insist, but only because I've got work to do on the outside. Please, just clear your head. The last thing we need is a cell leader suffering from the bleeding effect and spearing us because we're Hittites or Thracians. I won't, but Thracians throw great parties. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear's attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Cassandra, and Themos, I mean, Alexios. They were intimately connected to it. Are you sure you can use the Staff of Hermes, then? No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. So, what do you think of my new Animus? 
You mean our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an Animus console prototype, Brahman variant, with the IO capacities pushed to their max. Ultra portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Abstergo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. Fascinating. Layla. Can you believe we're meeting Herodotos himself? I can. He sure does talk a lot. Is there anything I can help you with? So does what I'm seeing as Cassandra match your research? I had to tweak the Animus to use what we have of the book as reference. That book is a lost work by Herodotos. He basically invented the concept of recording history. And other figures are matching up too. Cleon, Pericles... The chance to see the past firsthand is why I joined the Assassins. Most people would talk about justice or leaping across rooftops, but history's cool too. I've loved history since my grandpa told me stories about his grandpa back in Ireland. He was an adventurer and sailor, so I'm continuing the family tradition. I feel so lucky. You make your own luck, remember? Why do people keep telling me that? So I've met Irodotos, but I don't know much about him. He's brilliant. His histories are considered the foremost textbook of classical Greece. People have made their careers analyzing his words for some new perspective. To see him in his own world, walking in the polis, and... Sorry, but he's kind of a hero of mine. You can fangirl all you want. Yay! I'll leave you to your work. If you need anything, just... Let me know. The center of the universe, circa 400 BCE. Eagles are fine and all, but a pet monkey would be even cooler. Are you sure you want to go back into the Animus right now? I get the impression you'll be there a long time. No, I should look around some more before I go back to Greece. Good. Come back when you're ready. I wonder if the Fry Twins would still recognize London. A rooftop's still a rooftop. How's it going out there? Well, no threats in view. I'm glad we could work together again. I believe our working methods are compatible. Are you still upset about our last run-in with Abstergo? I'm sorry, I didn't realize those hills in Quebec were so steep. But hey, you and your Yakuza reflex has saved us. Sorry, ex-Yakuza. We're all alive and our injuries have healed. That's what matters. Of course, I'll return to the Animus. Then follow the trail Irodotos left to find the staff. But there's so many possibilities. So many choices. There's no way to know which ones are right. You used to run part of the Japanese Brotherhood. What would you do? Take things one step at a time, observe then act, or kill everyone and search their pockets for answers. You decide. Thanks for watching our backs, Kiyoshi. I'll leave you to your work. I'll report in if Abstago drops by. I have visual on HQ, no threats in view. I have visual on HQ, no threats in view. Looks third echelon. Or is it fourth? Too bad we had to leave before we could drink some more caribou. What? Huh? What? Huh?
Eager to re-enter, I see. Yes. I'm ready to go back to Cassandra. All right. I'll be watching your back. <laughs>